and welcome to To Your Health with Dina Cotter. My name is Dan Rubio, and Dina asked me here today to talk a little, about, a little bit about immunity in, her newest, in the newest issue of her newsletter, Personal Nutrition Monthly, which you can subscribe to here, get a current copy of. She talks about immunity and how that is an important issue this time of year especially. And Dina, I was hoping you could talk to us a little bit about why immunity becomes such an issue this time of year. I think everyone kind of knows you start to feel a little sick more often, uh, come the colder weather, but the, yeah. the, I'm not sure why. Okay, um, yeah, there's a, qu a few reasons why, actually, Dan. The most important probably is the lack of light and also lack of sunlight, which is where we get our vitamin D from. Okay. Because vitamin D is one of the most important nutrients for our immune system. And because of the shorter daylight hours, you know, we don't feel as alert, we don't feel as alive. And people are often cooped up indoors, they're not outside, you know, walking around as much, and they're all covered up with the heavy, you know, clothes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure. um, so there's no light exposure on skin, and that's and very important. Light exposure is tied to vitamin D? Yes, it is. So it's light exposure on skin and light exposure through the eyes. So if you're wearing sunglasses, if you're wearing glasses or contact lenses, you're actually blocking that light absorption. And what happens? Your body can't synthesize can't, can't, the vitamin D from so the So your vitamin D levels will actually drop when there's less sunlight. Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons why people will often get very sick in the winter because they don't have enough vitamin D. So it's important to make sure you're getting that sunlight any way you can. I know sometimes in the winter it gets hard. It feels like you go to work, it's dark. You come home, it's dark again. And when you get that sunlight, but it's evidently really important to, it is. to get that sunlight. So, you know, you can get full spectrum lighting, you can take vitamin D, but measure your vitamin D levels first before you start taking any kind of supplementation. Very good. Now, what about food? Food. You're a nutritionist, and, and obviously you, you deal with people with immune system issues all the time. Uh, from the, the standpoint of food, how can people eat differently to feel better? Um, they need to watch out for eating more comfort foods like sugars and carbohydrates in the form of pizza, um, a lot of pasta, because we tend to grab more towards those kinds of foods because sure. we need the energy. You need to eat more in the winter because you're burning off more calories to stay warm. Um, but in fact, the wrong thing to do is to be e increasing your carbohydrates to such an extent. Um, yes, we do need carbohydrates, so get it from whole grain uh, grains like brown rice and quinoa and millet grains, rather than from eating a lot more bread and you know wheat breads and refined breads and so on. So that's one significant change people can make. They also need more fruit um, to help. Hmm. And one way to do that is because the summer fruits are not available, get either frozen berries, what's one way, but better yet is to drink, you know, whole um, juices that are not from concentrate, that are fresh pressed, organic of course, uh, like Concord grape juice, black cherry juice, and a glass of that, believe it or not, is equivalent to eating probably actually like two or three pounds of cherries. So it is pretty significant hmm, because the absorption absolutely. is much better in a liquid form. Oh, and by getting that fruit and the vitamins go along with it, that's going to help your immune system stay stronger? Absolutely, because you do need more vitamin C in the winter and you sure. need more bioflavonoids and all that you can get through the you know fresh fruits. And is it best to get that naturally through the food you're eating? I, I guess, you know. If you can, Dan. I mean, some people may not like cherries or may not like grapes, or if they have a sugar problem, they have to watch their sugar intake then they can supplement with you know, antioxidants that are made from whole food. Sure, okay. Um, when someone comes to you as, as one of your clients and, and has an issue with immunity, what's some of the advice you might give them right off the bat to make a difference? Um, I usually have them uh, type their blood type. We do that here in the office. Or I'm, I will have them get the information from their doctor's office or if they have donated to the American uh, Red Cross. Um, we do that. We, so we do the blood type as the foundation for knowing what foods they need to eat because the way the blood type works is it's working on building up your gut immunity. And since 70% of our immune system is in the gut, oh, really? that becomes very significant. Oh, so then what you eat has a big in, uh, influence on your immunity. Tremendous influence, actually, Dan. So when someone starts eating differently, what what can they expect to see? Uh, is is there some measurement that you can use to, to get an idea of where people yes, are, what they um, need to do? Absolutely. There's a test we use called the BIA test, the bioimpedance um, analysis. Right, you mentioned that in the newsletter too. Right, and what we find is that we have an idea of overall health of the individual by measuring their phase angle, which is the first information that comes out of the BIA mm -hmm. testing and that indicates overall health, whether they're nutritionally um, in, in health, you know, th absorbing the nutrients they require, but also it tells us about toxicity. Okay. And the reason why toxicity is critical is that when you have a lot of toxins in the body, there is no room for your white blood cells and red blood cells to really help ward off infections because it's so focused on you know, dealing with the toxins. So your body's too busy trying to get rid of the toxins 
and it can't get rid of the bacteria and the viruses that might be coming at it, especially this time of year. Absolutely. So that's why you know clearing out the toxins by doing a healthy, balanced detox program can be extremely helpful. So you would recommend a detox program for someone who wanted to stay healthier this time of year? That would Absolutely. be helpful. Absolutely. So if they are having issues with immunity on an annual basis, that's the thing to do. Okay. Now, one other issue that I know you talk about is sleep. Um, how does sleep affect immunity? That's something I'm, I'm not as aware of. Okay, um, a lot of people are not aware of how critical that is. Um, sleep is very important for cell regeneration. So our bodies are able to regenerate while we're sleeping. We need five hours of continuous, uninterrupted, deep sleep. And if you don't get the minimum, which is five hours, your immune system will be compromised because the body is not getting the rest and the regeneration. That so it it's not recreating the cells that it's using to Absolutely. fight off exactly. infection. Right. I was always told to get eight hours of sleep, but I'll, I'll admit I have a bad habit. I, I tend to kind of get up after four hours, grab something to eat, and go back to sleep. Am I, isn't that basically the same thing as... No, it's not. When I say five no. hours, I mean five hours. So five so hours from hours start to... four hours is not enough, exactly. So if I, even if I just get up for a few minutes in the middle of the night, that's No, because the, the body is, it is. Because oh. the body, yep, your whole <laughs> melatonin stop. has been thrown off. <laughs> All right, well, that's something I'll have to be more careful of. So I guess we want to make sure we're getting the sunlight, we're staying away from the, the carbohydrates and the simple sugars. We want to uh, get more of the vitamin C. Uh, we want to make sure that we're keeping the toxins out of our system and detoxing if necessary. And make sure we're getting those five hours of sleep because that's, that's critical. And I'll have critical. to start doing that. Right. Well, thank you, Dina. I think that's really been informative. Um, thanks for all the great information. And we hope to see you next time. Thank you.